Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm really excited to bring you a really good review on the Latitude Lone Star. This is an awesome saddle. I've recently done a video about other saddles in the past, the one that I made myself, and why we chose this when I kind of went over some of those facts in the last video that I made. But what we're gonna do today, we're gonna bring you a review. I've got roughly 50 sets in this already between October and November. Our season has been successful, especially our out-of-state hunt. So let's get to the video. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go over some things that I really, really like about this, a few things that I didn't care for, and some mods that I did to this saddle to make it a little more user-friendly for me. It was very important to me to be able to get the saddle on without stepping through it, especially when you start putting on the winter clothes. But this buckle, really nice buckle, and I'll kind of zoom in so you can see that. This is a climbing grade buckle made by Latitude. And real quick, I want to tell you this, guys. This saddle comes with a rope system. I did take the rope out because it has the sewn-in loops for the optional belt and you should be able to see these loops. I'll bring you up closer on this other camera right in front of me. This belt's like 40 bucks. I'm not saying that the belt isn't worth 40 bucks, but what I'm gonna say is if I had it to do over again, I would have saved the $40 and here's why, and I'll kind of show you what's going on here. When you put this on and you can see, I've got this kind of tied in a knot because you can cinch it up. Not super easy to cinch up but you can get it cinched up. The problem with it is even, now this is the problem that I had with it. I'm not saying you'll have that same problem. Even tying it in another little knot behind this, when you're walking through the woods and most of our average hunts, we're walking about a mile in minimum generally. And that's one of the reasons that I go light and I have the saddle is that mile hike. It can get, this starts wiggling loose. There's enough extra webbing on this belt that you could actually make a well rope out of this thing, guys. It's a ridiculously long amount. My thoughts were, if you had all this extra tucked in here behind that, and it takes a while to get it through all these little spaces, but you can see, you can shove it back in there. My thought was, is that extra pressure would it kind of help hold the belt? It doesn't. If I had it to do over again, I'd go with a regular leather belt with a roller buckle, but that roller buckle on a regular leather belt, kind of like you'd see on a tool belt, I think would work just fine because all I needed to do is hold it in place while I'm walking in the field and walking out. I'm also carrying extra big pouches. These pouches I made myself. If you guys watched that other video that I mentioned where I made my first saddle, this is the same material that I made the other pouches. And you'll also notice that I've got another little option on here that you're just not seeing in other people's videos. If you guys can see that and you understand what it is, great. And if not, I'm not spelling it out, but it works great right there. I've also got, it's got a snap to hold it in place so you don't lose it when you're stomping through the woods early in the morning or late at night. Next step on the, on the modifications that I've done, again, along with, I did not want to step through this thing. I made this myself. This is the same am steel that you can buy from online. And what I've done with the bridge is I put, this is the side that would have been tied over here. So I put my own little am steel continuous loop over here. And now I can connect the bridge that way. It does make your bridge a little bit longer, but if you guys can see, there's plenty of room that you could still cinch this up over here. And then on this, not that they have from the factory. I basically put this in the position that I want and I just tied that off so that it won't move. So easy fix. But this allows me to be able to take this on and off. It just makes life so much easier to wear instead of stepping through it, especially with the big heavy duty winter boots or whatever. If you guys have ever experienced hip pinch, if you're not familiar with the Lone Star, this pocket right here has a pretty thick, and let me see, I might be able to get to it easier on this side. On both sides, they've got what they call a hip pinch reduction system. 
And if you can see this, it's basically, it's an ultra thick, I'm gonna call it Kydex, I don't know what it is, it looks like Kydex to me, but it's a really thick piece of Kydex. It goes, it shoves into there, and then you kind of pry it back in there, that way it's not falling out and it stays there. I will say this, my longest set that I had in this, this so far this season's been seven and a half, eight hours, zero hip pinch. So coming from the, the one that I made, which again, I'm not, a, I'm not a saddle maker. I'm just a guy that likes to make my own gear. I used that saddle for almost seven years or right at seven years. So this one being new to me, this was really, it was phenomenal to go out and hunt especially on a seven hour set where you're up in the tree dangling and have zero hip pinch, zero discomfort. And I'm gonna attribute that to a lot of the features. We're gonna go over that right now. Down here, or let's start up at the top. Right up here at the top, you can see this is a really thick webbing. I mentioned that in my other video. This whole deal right here, which is going across your back, helps support the weight of the saddle and then your weight once you're in the tree and you're dangling. You've also got a really thick, this is wide webbing guys, I don't know how thick that is, it's probably three and a half, four inches across the bottom as well. That goes into where you're going to be hanging your bridge and then you've also, which is really handy for your lineman loop, these are additional loops up here. That's one of the complaints I had about the one that I personally made is that it was way too small, especially trying to get in the tree in the dark. It'd just take me too long to find that small loop in the dark. These are big enough, especially if you don't have gloves on, you can feel the difference. It's got a different texture than obviously you've got your bridge connected to this one anyway. So the feel is just kind of an added perk you can feel it you can see these are right here where you can grab a hold of that it's just you can feel it it's they held in position great go ahead and pull and of course i've got a wad over here this is my bow hoist rope so we'll go throw it out on the ground it's always on top because i'm going to tie my bow up before i put on my lineman rope but you get your lineman rope and like I say it's sticking out there where it's supposed to easy one hand connect and now you've got your lineman rope ready to go up the tree we'll go more into the saddle setup in the next video on how what i'm using for sticks and once i get up in the tree the platform ring of steps now then for pros on this saddle what i'm going to say is it's extremely comfortable I've had up to seven and a half eight hour sits in this at one time i have not had any pain associated especially with hip pain the one thing I will say is there is a little bit of a break-in period on this because all this material is kind of thick. I felt like when I first got up in the tree that when I was setting, you, you weren't necessarily getting any of this back support like you would think you would. I kind of felt like it was opened up back there, but the more I used the saddle and kind of got it dialed in for me, that it, it all fits like a, if you've ever tried on a, Deer skin pair of gloves, that's about what it feels like. Once you get it broke in and it kind of conforms to your body and the way you're hunting, it's super comfortable. Okay, one of the next things that I really, really love about this saddle is you've got two options over here. You can see you've got the webbing up here to attach additional gear junk to, and then you've also got the ones down here. This is an aftermarket piece that a buddy of mine gave me last year, and this is what I hang my climbing sticks on and or platform or if you're using the ring of steps they can hang on here as well the one thing i did notice i originally had these mounted up here on this top and when i was hiking through the woods you could actually the backpack would be resting on these and it would start pushing the saddle down again i think that extra weight of the backpack pushing on that may have been part of the reason that the belt was coming undone but i i changed that i swapped it up and i put these there's when i'm walking through the field i've got my backpack with all the junk that i need so these are just hold they're really light they're not pulling on the saddle per se i've got the two ropes and the other junk in here so that didn't help with my belt problem that i was having initially so moving it down here absolutely fix that problem so i'm thankful that they put these in one thing that you will notice when i was trying this on is it does come with leg straps. There's a quick connect right here. And then the place that you connect the leg straps is right up here in the front on both sides. So you can see that. 
I know that a lot of people actually cut them off, so I do like the fact that they've designed these to where you can just take the leg straps off. They do come with nice buckles and they come with a nice cinch system. These are a little fiddly trying to get those little hooks through here. These loops could be a little bit bigger just to make it easier to get that fiddly latch out of there. That, again, that's just my opinion. I may be wrong. Next up, the inside, you got this real soft material. This is supposedly a cooling type material, which will help you from overheating. I can tell you I hunted a lot of days in 80 degree weather, and I don't remember my rear getting wet at all from sweat, so I would say that it works. When you're hiking in at 80 and 85 degree temps, it, especially out here in East Texas, we're fighting humidity and heat. I was impressed that my pants weren't soaking wet, to be honest with you guys. So this obviously works, especially for the warmer climates. I haven't hunted in extreme cold. It's only been down in the 40s where I was hunting, even back Oklahoma. So again, you've got a little bit of a stretch panel here. Again, this kind of conforms to your body. And the more you wear this thing, the more it breaks in and it just fits like a, like a leather glove. And then also this hip pinch reduction deal, I think is a, it's, it's a simple fix and I believe it works. It's extremely comfortable, extremely durable. I would highly recommend this saddle to anybody that's new and looking. The one thing that I found to be absolute, a solid truth, especially when you're talking about your comfort level in your saddles, only make one adjustment at a time. So if you feel like you're getting a little bit of it's, you don't like the way it's sitting, only move one thing at a time. Give it 30 minutes to an hour. Try to see if that doesn't help with your comfort. And before you start adding a bunch of junk to your saddle, add that stuff one at a time. Go out there, get up in a tree, shoot. Just a final recap. Guys, this is a great saddle. They don't know who I am. They didn't send me this. This is something that I purchased out of my own pocket and I would buy it again. But we are gonna go over in the next video, I'm gonna tell you about my setup, what I changed throughout this year, and what I'm really, really happy with and excited to share with you guys. I've, got, I've been doing a lot of experiments over the last couple of years, and I've got some great information to share with you. I'm excited to share that with you. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing down below. If you've liked this video at all, give us a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite saddle, your favorite saddle maker and why. Give me some of your ideas of things that you like most about your saddle. Comment down below, let's help each other. There's a lot of people that read the comments. If your comment's really good, I'll pin it to the top. That way, if somebody else is wanting to find an answer to that, we'll have it all up there. We can all read through these comments together. Again, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribe. I hope you all have a blessed week. And until next week's video comes out, why don't you think about watching this video? Ooh, I don't know. This video over here is pretty awesome. Man, I don't know. Watch them both. I think you guys are going to enjoy them. We got a lot of wild game cooking coming up. If you guys like running the smoke or any of that kind of stuff, we're going to teach you how to smoke up your harvest. Do it the right way. We're going to do it Texas style. I hope you all have a blessed week. And watch that video right there. This one. It's really good. You're going to love it. Have a blessed week, guys. And let's get outside and make something happen.